Hi everybody. I'm coming up as uh, Maria Goodall today rather than Maria Bourne. Hello Richard. Um, I have been naughty and I have been banned from posting um, any comments or pictures or lives on pages unless I'm a, a moderator. Cheryl has been trying to put me as moderator um, on the Wheel of Moira page but I think because I'm banned it won't let her do that so that's the reason I'm doing it from my Maria Goodall page. Just to confirm I don't own the rights to any music in the background and I will just wait a couple of minutes just to see if anybody else starts watching. Okay, there's not a lot happening. Probably people are not getting notifications because I have no friends as Maria Goodall. Um, just purely set up the account just so that I could um, log into another account when I was doing my live so that I could see from a, a different um, a different tablet. Right, I'll just give it another 30 seconds and see if anybody comes on and then I'll start. Okay, I'll start anyway. So I'm Maria Bourne and I'm a brand ambassador for Moira UK and tonight I'm going to have a go at this design um, which is using decals and stamping. Um, so I'm going to try and hopefully keep it simple tonight and not take up too much of your time as I am aware that last week I was on for nearly 90 minutes. Just when you're doing these lives you're not paying any attention to time at all and the time just flies. So I've already this week got my nails prepped, just three of them. Um, the black and the gold I have buffed uh, ready for the stamping. And basically this is just two coats of black and then a top coat of the Clever Cover. Okay, so that's the Clever Cover um, non-white top coat. So it is tack free when you put that on. Okay, so I've got my Moira nail art stickers or decals, decals, and everyone pronounces them in different ways. I've already got one cut out ready because this is the one that I'm going to use. They are good because they are reversed, so if you was wanting to do the same on two nails on separate hands, um, you, you can reverse the image. Um, so that's the reverse reverse image there okay so I'm just going to cut out the white and then I'm going to put this against the nail and see what sort of shape I need The, the little bit so I'm just going to put this against the nail so it is quite a big nail this one compared to the one um, I used previously so I'm just going to cut out just to match it up but with this one see this 
and I'm just going to go right down to there and then I'm just going to round this bit off a little bit okay okay so on these um, decals there is a clear cover on there so you need to remove that before you do anything okay and the way we get these off is very simple you don't soak them in water I've just got a damp cotton pad it's not loaded with water but I'm just going to sit that on there face down and just tap it and as you can see that's soaking up So as you can see there, I'm just sliding that away and get rid of that. And there's my little decal. So I'm actually just going to get my tweezers to pick that up. So I don't make a complete mess of it. Okay. So you need a shiny surface for this to... Uh, idea to just give that a wipe. I must have not had it in the lamp long enough. Just gonna pop that back in the lamp actually. Actually I'm going to clean it and put another coat of um, clever cover on just to be sure because I need that shiny surface for it to work. pop that under for 60 seconds I'd just rather do it again and waste the 60 seconds rather than it go wrong and be wasting a few minutes of your time so I appreciate it's early I normally go live at around 7 o'clock um, but the reason I've done early tonight is because we're going on holiday first thing in the morning, very early hours, early hours for me anyway. The only time I see six o'clock in the morning is when I'm going on holiday. So as soon as I'm finished here, the hub is taking me out for my tea and then I've got to come back and pack his suitcase or he might have packed it himself while he's been in the house and I've been up in my log cabin working. Okay, that's done now. Okay, so now if I touch that, it's not sticky. So I'm just gonna pick this up, hopefully you can see. So I just basically want to do a mirror image of the other nail that I've already got. So I'm just gonna place that on there feels a little bit sticky it's probably dried up from being on the water for so long okay. try again just wanting to do what I want it to do My out of view there. there. Okay, so that's on. So I'm just going to rub that down. And just keep rubbing just so I've got no humps or bumps. So it goes on really easy. So I'm just going to get my buffer and just buff off the excess there and I'm going to buff downwards you can 
can use these uh, decals to do full full nails and um, just think the bit of uh, pattern on there just finishes it off right I'm gonna move that out the way put my decals away okay so that's what we've got so as you can see it's a mirror image of the other one there okay so now I'm going to use my foil gel in the black and I've got my vamp striper brush and I'm just going to put some of the, the black foil gel um, just around the edge here I'm going to put a little bit around the clock on the fingers of the clock, around the butterfly, and just a bit on the grass there. Okay, before I do that, I'm just going to retop coat so I can seal that image in. So I've got my clever cover again. I'm just going to seal that in there. Okay, so I'm just going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds, get rid of my bits what I'm not using. I'm going to take the lid off my foil glue. And then I'm just going to transfer a bit onto one of my uh, scrapers. just going to pop the lid back on that just so it doesn't cure in the light. I'm just going to clean, clean that up. Okay. you can see that okay so I'm just going to dip that in my brush in and just fully load up the brush if you can see that there okay and as I said I'm just going to go on the the outline with the foil gel Doing a very fine line all the way around the edge there. I always go quiet when I'm doing intricate details like this. So as my nail was a bit larger than the other one, the decal's just fallen a bit short, so I am going to go right down the side. Okay. Let's try and get that a bit closer. is always very shaky so I will post in the comments later everything that I've used and the prices as I always do Go around the butterfly. Hope 
hopefully I'm not out of shot there. I don't know where everybody is tonight. There's probably confusion with me being under my maiden name and not my married name. I'm going to do the hands of the, the clock now. Okay. I'm just going to give him a bit of a body and some antennae. you can see there where I've gone round and then I'm just going to do a bit on the grass there on the sides in the lamp for 60 seconds and cure and I'm just going to get my uh, gel cleanser just to clean that off the plate clean my brush and then I'm going to go for the gold foil now Just gonna cut some of the foil off. Just I'm only using a little bit. now and basically what, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to tap and um, press lightly and then pull just to transfer the gold onto my pattern very lightly hopefully you can see that I'm just doing it very gently Hopefully you can see that. It just makes the image pop more and it just looks really pretty. Okay, so to seal that, I'm going to get my um, damp striper brush again. And I'm just going to put some clever cover on there. And I'm just going to gently just go over the gold again just to seal that, that in. I know when uh, Cheryl does this design, she likes to have the background matte. Cheryl's a matte girl. I like the shiny.
just you want to seal it in because then uh, when you wipe over it with the, the gel cleanser it's not going to wipe the foil straight back off again so it is a salon viable design Probably wondering why I've not just gone straight over the whole nail with the the tack free. Um, but sometimes in the past I've found that when you put tack free on top of tack free, it, it's got nothing to stick to, so it just peels off. In this line of work, you do learn by your mistakes. Okay, I'm just going to pop that in the lamp now for 60 seconds, giving it a full cure. Okay, Let's clean up my scraper, so I'm going to use that again now. Wipe my brush, put the lid on, put that away. Okay. So next I've got the L'Amour stamping plate, it's plate number 61 and it's this image here that I'm using. I am going to clean the plate, I always do, sorry, I always do clean it after each use but I like to clean it again before I use it just to make sure that it's super clean okay this time I'm going to use I've just knocked everything completely out of sync there I'm going to use the um, SGP01 in black it's the stamping gel polish rather than the regular gel polish and then I've got my Moira Glitters in black and gold, number 5 and number 30. Okay, so I'm going to do the black nail first. Got my stamper. so you can see uh, so it's this image here that I'm going for so you don't have to be quick with the gel stamping polish um, so it's not air dry okay so I've picked up my image there so I'm just going to leave that now um, as I said previously when stamping with the, the stamping gel polish um, when you pick up the image off the plate it spreads onto the stamper so I just want to give that a chance to uh, um, to go back to its original shape so just while we're waiting for that I will clean the stamping plate and the scraper ready for the next one I'm going to transfer this image on. I think actually I might do them the opposite the way around to what I did before. So there's the image there, hopefully you can see that. And then I'm just going to stamp, I'm just going to go from left to right and as you can see I've left it long enough because the old image has transferred onto the nail apart from that little bit which didn't touch the nail anyway and then hopefully you can see the image there on the matte black. Ok, 
okay so normally I do tap the glitter on but today as it's not a real nail I am just going to dip into the gold so dip one and dip two and give it a tap and there it is and then I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds so put the lid on my glitter okay so we're basically doing the exact same again but on the gold so I'm put my stamping polish on my gel stamping polish give it a scrape Just clean that bit off there pick up my image I'm just going to get rid of that bit that I don't want okay and I'll just leave that for a minute just to uh, retract back to its uh, original shape clean the plate um, I'm using the uh, Moira plate cleanser plate cleaner which is absolutely brilliant okay clean my scraper okay so this time I'm going to stamp this way so hopefully you can see that so I'm going to try and angle it so you can see it So I'm just going to go from left to right and round. Okay. So it does look nice on its own, but I just wanted to put a bit of glitter on that just to bling it up a bit. Okay, so I'm just going to clean my stamper. Put the lid on my stamping gel polish. And then I'm going to get out my black. Again, I'm going to cheat and I am just going to dip the nail straight in. If there was, this was a real client, you wouldn't dip the nail in. You'd uh, use your spatula to do that and have your client's nail hanging over the glitter. I'm just going to do it twice just to make sure that we've got plenty of coverage. There you go. I'm going to pop that in the lamp for 60 seconds, put the lid on the glitter, just put my foil away to use it again at a later date, put my decorators away, just got to be tidy and put everything away with me going on holiday in the morning and then I'm not coming back next Wednesday morning to a a mess when my first client comes in. So just uh, the gel polishes that I had used. The gold is number 39 and the black is number 2. Two coats is plenty, great coverage. I'm using loads of the black at the moment. Okay, so they are cut. I'm just going to get my dusting brush and just dust off the excess. Now, just look at that. Lovely. The same with the black. lovely if you wanted you could leave the nails matte um, and just have the, the glitter background but as I said I like shine so I'm just going to top coat these with my clever cover I'm going to float my top coat um, just to avoid dragging any bits of excess glitter what may be on there I'm 
just going to flash cure that just for 10 seconds um, just so I've got a tacky layer and then I'm just going to top coat again just to make sure um, there's no roughness to the surface of the nail. This is my second coat of Clever Cover. Okay, so I'm going to pop that in the lamp for a full 60 second cure. And then the same again with this one. I'm just going to float the top coat so I don't drag the glitter. Um, or any particles of glitter that's not brushed off when I've brushed the glitter off. Okay, then I'm going to flash cure that for 10 seconds. any excess glitter okay it's a very quick 10 seconds okay let's pop that in for a 60 second cure away my products so I can go so my poor husband's waiting for his tea and we've got to drive to the pub yet okay so I'm just going to take those off got my gold one, my decal one, and my black one. I could swap them over actually. I'm not sure which way I do them. Okay, well thank you for watching everybody. I'm on holiday now for a week, so there won't be a live next Monday. Um, but I hope to do one the Wednesday at half past seven, but I will keep you updated. And my ban will be lifted from Facebook tomorrow evening, so I will be able to um, post comments and, and things like that. Okay, thank you for watching. Bye.